Today I'm going to show you guys the simple steps to make a trade decision. Start with the message on your phone. When you receive the message, you see the Swiss rank is down here, and then uh, you see the Swiss rank is minus 7. Then you go to the dashboard. Go to the dashboard and you check the, the power of the currency on the top here because we're trading the European market. Yeah, Swiss rank is minus 7. Then you go to the right side here and you check, you know, uh, how many pairs cross support or resistance. On this case here, Swiss franc, just three pairs uh, cross support or resistance. We need five to enter a trade. Then you go here on the Swiss franc, you have a one, two, three, just three crosses of resistance because the GBP and uh, just GBP is on the on the left and Swiss franc on the right. And the Swiss franc is uh, negative and then the GBP going up against the Swiss franc. Then you have a, you already know, know what's going on in the market in less than 15 seconds, 30 seconds maybe. And you already know, I, I don't want to trade the, the Swiss franc with the, because it just has uh, three, minus three, you know, and then it just, you got a three on the green, uh, the other currency is going up related with the Swiss franc. Let me check the rules, the simple rules for a prof profitable trade. Then you go there, say do not trade the Asian market if you're not experienced trade. And uh, do not trade if both markets are closed, it's not the case. The Swiss franc was open at that time. And um, the currency drive the market will have minus seven or plus seven. That's the, the case, has minus seven is good. And, um, and then the market is open and it's a driver. Is everything fine here? To consider a trade, the support resistance breakouts on the currency you you choose to trade has to have a number plus 5 or minus 5. That means 5 out of 7 broke the support resistance. In this case, it didn't. We have a minus 3. It has to be minus 5 to enter this trade. And then we no, no consider this trade to make this trade. And on the number 5 rule, uh, to consider the currency pair you choose has to have a trend H4 or D1. Let me see on the charts. On the dollar Swiss franc, it uh, has trend on the D1 and H4, and uh, it's gonna it's touching this the the resistance here already. And then Euro Swiss franc, same thing has trend going up. See the it has separation between the green and red lines. But it's, it's touching the uh, resistance right here. It's not a good trade. Also, the D1 is, has trend 2 going up on the um, GBP Swiss franc, and H4 is barely passing the, the resistance here. And then it's not a good trade to do. Uh, it has trend and everything, but uh, you just have three crossing support resistance on the uh, on the intraday support resistance, but it's touching the some touching the uh, resistance on the H4. Same thing here on the New Zealand, and say same thing here on the Canadian. 